Now that superstar edge rusher Zadarius Smith is a member of the Minnesota Fine Vikings, bonus, we don't have to play him anymore because Zadarius Smith, he's he just got after that. Yeah, he just got after that ass, Jimmy, against the Minnesota Fine Vikings, and it, it is always a plus taking away a star player from a division rival and then turn around and that star player who has a lot of knowledge about his former team gets to play them twice a year, and for that... We, we thank you. Just getting after number 12. Uh, a, a, a round Rodgers done messed up. Uh, so we want to take a look back at the times that Zadarius has just kind of gone off uh, on the Vikings. Now, we went, we went back. So Zadarius has actually only played the Vikings five times because he missed uh, the bulk of last season with that back injury. But it, it just seems like he had been more of a problem. But really, it's one major game. Well, one and a half major games. Uh, but five uh, squaring off against the Vikings. 2017 uh, was with the Ravens here at U.S. Bank Stadium. Vikings won. A bit, bit of a non-factor that game. Two pressures and one tackle. It is what it is. Vikings won. And then when he signed in Green Bay with the Greasy Grime Green Bay Packers, 2019 first game at Lambeau. Five pressures. So he was getting some heat on Kirkua, Jerome, Ezekiel Cousins, but never got to the quarterback. Uh, three tackles, uh, what, whatever. 2019. So at U.S. Bank Stadium, Riley Reef. Adios mio. So Riley Reef and to a degree... Brian O'Neill and, and then the rest of the, the Vikings pass protection. Nine pressures. Nueve. That is a lot. That is a ton. That is heaps. Uh, and three and a half sacks uh, as well as seven tackles, five tackles for loss. And only 47 snaps, by the way. So just absolutely insane uh, the uh, amount of pressure that was generated by Zadarius Smith that day. I think he had a pressure rate of 26% or something stupid in, in that game. I mean, Generally, pressure rate 14% is fantastic. 15, 16% is great. 26% just out, out of sight, man. And then the Packers won allegedly 23 to 10 that game because the offense can't get anything going because Zadaris is just calling game and just calling the end of drives all the time. And then 2020 week one also at U.S. Bank Stadium uh, in the uh, in the empty U.S. Bank Stadium, uh, he went off for a sack as well as three pressures and for only 43 snaps. So workmanlike fashion. But aha, 2020 week eight. Zadarius got his man. So zero pressures, zero sacks, only three tackles, one tackle for loss on 47 snaps. And the Vikings won. They went up to Green Bay and smacked that all on the floor. And the reason why Zadarius had zero pressures and zero sacks because they just gave the ball to Dalvin. <laughs> that was the Dalvin four touchdown game. Like, hey, hey, uh, that's a roll, the roll safe mean. Uh, can't have sacks if you just run the ball. Although, a lot of Dalvin's yardage was on screen passes as well. So, hey, you can't get sacks when you get the ball out that quick, man. So, uh, either way, it, it is a little bit of cognitive dissonance where it's like, hey, Zadarius Smith just completely owns the Vikings every single time. Not really. It was two good games, one really massive game that just completely sticks out of the mind. But, hey, no Riley Reef anymore. And, hey, we get to let loose Zadarius Smith on opposing uh, tackles as well as, oh, yeah, Daniil Hunter's here. Oh, DJ Wanham is here as well. So uh, pretty hyped up about that. So either way, like the the boogeyman from some of our nightmares of a border battles past, he's on our side now, which is nice to see. He already are, are looks good in purple. Look at him, man. There you go. Uh, anyways, uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts. Uh, looking back at Zadarius Smith's career against the Vikings, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull production value.